All right, week 16, day seven. We've got a swim and a bike today. <clears throat> uh, starting off with the swim, I'm thinking probably just about half an hour, about a thousand yards, maybe a little bit more. We'll kind of see where, where it takes us, but <clears throat> nothing too crazy with the swim. And that's mainly because I know that I'll be able to continue swimming even while I'm tapering down. The taper won't affect the swim very much because the swims aren't very, it's not very stressful on your body, right? So it's not like, something that you really heavily have to recover from so I'm not gonna stop swimming during the taper uh, which means that it doesn't have to be a huge swim day today so I'm just gonna keep it at about a thousand yards and then the run we're gonna go to get a half marathon in again um, this actually I think is my first time running directly after a swim I haven't done that um, I haven't really seen the need to brick the swims with anything you know what I mean every time I, I do these brick workouts it's a bike and then a run is, is what I've been doing so it'll be interesting today to see how I feel after getting out of the water um, that's probably one other thing that I will do during the taper is do a short swim and then get on the bike immediately after the swim just to see how that transition feels like you know so so yeah um, again getting a late start today it's like 2 o'clock 2 30 fuck it's 2.30 in the afternoon right now, so this will basically be the rest of my day is swimming and running. Um, yeah, that, and then it's really it. I'm gonna throw on a uh, football game while I run to kind of distract myself. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, yeah, not a bad day. I will also try and get a video of the swim because I'm bad about that. And last time I swam, I fucking took a video before I swam and then didn't take one during the swim. And that's also kind of because it was super crowded that day and I wasn't really messing with it. But today it's Sunday, and so I doubt that there's going to be many people at the pool. So, yeah. Let's uh, let's go get it done. Fingers crossed that the gym or the pool is actually open because I, I actually probably should have checked online before I started driving that way. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, we'll check in at the swim. All right, the swim has been completed. And, um... I felt ridiculously good in the water today. I don't know what that's about, but I felt really, really solid. I took, you know, say it's 20 laps to get the thousand yards. And um, I only took like two breaststroke breaks, I guess is what you would call them. Um, and then a quick little like minute, two minute break exactly at the halfway point. So, but other than that, it was just freestyle the whole time. And I felt like I probably should have like, I really didn't need those breaks that bad. I probably should have just stayed freestyle the whole time. So that now I could have been like, yeah, you know, after I finished, I could have just said I did freestyle the entire time, which you know, I felt really, really, really good. Uh, it's super positive. So now we are heading on to where we're going to do our run. Um, I'm going to snack on one of these on the way. It's a little zone perfect bar. I found them at Walmart. They're fucking like 24, 25 grams of carbs. 14, 25 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. It's pretty solid, and on, and they're pretty light, easy to eat, and they also are s'mores flavored and taste real fucking good. So I've been happy with them. This is probably what I'm gonna eat um, on race day as well, on the bike and everything. I ate a few of them yesterday when I was biking. So yeah, I'm gonna down one of these, uh, refill my water, and then get going with the run. And the run kind of shooting for sub nine and a half minute miles on average. Um, that's probably, probably what we'll stick with. I'll probably take a walk break, uh, hopefully just every three miles or so. I don't know, we'll kind of play that one by ear, but yeah, we'll check in at mile one. Mile one, 8.23. Nice and easy first mile. Probably gonna try and hold about that pace all the way throughout. Mile two, 8.34. Mile three, 8.41. Damn. That chlorine fucks up my hair bad. <laughs> um, biggest thing with this run, I'm really running at a super comfortable pace right now. I'm just gonna take a walk break for this video and then get back to running. I really don't need a walk break right now. Um, biggest thing right now is just trying to stay out of that sun. I'm in the shade right now, which is a good spot to take a walk break so you're not getting drained by the sun the entire time, but that's the biggest thing that could really hurt me right now is just the heat and the sun. Cause it is four o'clock in the afternoon, so. Not a great time to be running, but um, about that, you know, varying between 820 to 840 minute miles, that's where I want to be. 
uh, try to hold that pace for the next three miles. Next walk break, probably at about mile six ish. So, uh, yeah, we'll check in at mile four. Mile four, 9.55. Like I took a walk break. It lasted about a minute at the beginning of that mile. So that's why that one hurts so bad. But we're going to get back to keeping it under nine minute miles. Mile five, nine minutes. Mile six, nine minutes on the dot as well. That seems to be about the pace I've settled into. Uh, mile seven is going to be slower just because I'm taking a walk break, but I still feel really good. I'm just going to try and stay at or below nine minute miles for the rest of the time other than walk break miles. But yeah, feeling really strong right now. Catch you at mile seven. Mile seven, 1028. Mile eight, 834. That was a nice one right there. Mile nine, 933. It's a lot of uphill that mile. I was hoping it wouldn't slow me down, but obviously it did a little bit. So we got this walk break, one more walk break at mile 12, and then that'll be it. You gotta love after mile seven, being able to, you know, turn around and just run back to the car. So helps the mindset quite a bit. Now let's just get back to the car so I can drive home. The faster I get there, you know, the quicker I'm done. Might hurt a little bit more, but that's kind of the mindset, you know, just get back to the car. So. He'll catch you in a mile. Mile 10, 1114. Mile 11, 1035. Really kind of hit a wall a little bit. So the last couple of miles, I ended up taking a walk break halfway through that last mile. And obviously I'm taking an unplanned walk break right now. So only, only two miles left. I got this big hill for the next mile, but then after that, it's cruising from there. So just gotta slug it out, almost home. Mile 12, 10.50. Um, I still feel not too bad. You know, I've hit a little bit of a wall, but the biggest mistake right now is I'm out of water. So I'm a thirsty motherfucker and I will be for another mile, but just one mile to go. Let's go ahead and get back to the car and get a Gatorade. Mile 13, 11.58. Overall pace, 9.48. It's slow.